Anything in there? Not much. Green team better be showing up soon. I am you didn't see them? They better not have left us in here by ourselves. So, Groot, you run into any trouble getting into the rig? I'm Groot. Good. I, I was pretty worried about you. Nothing spooky. It's an old ship, is all. I agree. And dark, sure. I agree. All right, you made your point. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Old beauty. I am Groot. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. Got you covered. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. On it, and finish. And it's done. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. If I had a unit for every minute of my time you waste with your flarkin' ideas... Come on, Quill, put them pea shooters to good use so we can squeeze in there! Yeah, that's one stubborn bunch of blorf. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep pelting it. Why'd I even bother upgrading those things if you aren't gonna use them? You gotta time it just right to overcharge the phase cool. Oh yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh, thanks. All right, let's squeeze our way out of here. So, that thing we set free... Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. 
Perfectly safe, right? I don't trust your definition of safe. buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird cubey hunks of rock or metal. my baby. You can see for yourself if you can get back up there. Oh. 
I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. Anyone got any bright ideas? If you're not gonna use that visor, give it to me. She covets the forbidden knowledge of your magic glasses, Peter Quill. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Can you move it over there? Shall be done. I did as our leader did. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence. Drax, this one's all you. Understood. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket? Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. There is a distinct sensation navigating this wreck. Katathians call it the Shadow's Gaze. Now that you mention it, I have felt like I was being watched. Perhaps our prey is stalking us. I say, let it come.
guys notice anything weird about this place? You mean besides the comms going dead for no reason? There was a reason. You collided with that column of scrap. You what? I was dodging a hailstorm of flaming debris. Once we deliver her prize, Lady Hellbender could become an influential ally. How so? They say that the mere mention of her name can end the negotiation. You want to turn the Guardians of the Galaxy into an extortion racket? No. I want people to offer us bigger tasks because they fear her wrath. Same thing, Drax. Ah. Oh. You know, I've seen these big mining ships before, but I don't remember ever seeing a Catathian starfighter in the war. Manos ordered his invaders to raise most of our fleets and demolish our factories before we could respond. Surely you knew that. Actually, uh, I didn't. I had nothing to do with what happened to your people. But you were familiar with this tactic. I... Yes. Of course you were. Say, it's flarkin' scary out there, Quill. Flarknard's on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wootops Field! Can't Must wait to wait. take him down! Field bit! Guys. 
Make your peace! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last bumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. I am Groot. Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind me. Excuse me? It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. What do we do if this... Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh. Our monster has arrived! I see it! Good. Oh, crap, the door, we... Let's catch our monster. Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Lady Hellbender will pay extra if it's poisonous. One last thing to hide behind. Or oh, slice him up! Somebody just grab it! I ain't that bad! Something bigger. Size don't mean nothing. <laughs> what the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the Monster Queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. I seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Alright. Enough with the warm-up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! Don't 
place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Rax, go! <laughs> Hold on to your butts, people! Lock it! Hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! <laughs> now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You wait! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? to thread the needle. Don't even think about it! The quickest way through is through. Peter! Do you fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin? Don't you get goo on my ship! My ship! Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduth. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? He's so... Groot says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. Please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Say how is hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? 
You look good. You've been tanning. This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral. I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill. I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide rockets crate. Peter, you're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corel the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corel. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am good. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it, we're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rockies. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No! No, 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 she, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Did that go? You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power. No container. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. 
How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier like Grand Raker. Unifier. Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no, super clear on the mom... That. Nikki? Whoa. Just stay I close. I knew there was something wrong about that church ship. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh, man. This is bad. I just hope the others are okay. Blast doors kick in during emergencies. Pretty sure I can override them with my passkey. They give out override keys to trainees? Not exactly. Just give me a sec. Come on! You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on! You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Are we sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A senior officer, oh, a I... senior? Don't you mean only? Same thing! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Thought we established your special key thing doesn't work. It'll work. Let's go, pirate. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Relax! You're fine, ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Yes! Got it! 
Through here. Woo! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Did you hear me? Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Prison cells make him jumpy. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help me or not? Yes, ma'am. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many of you had? Not that many. 